Very good day to you people. My name is Mohitan guys. Today I want to show you how to make an automatic picture gallery. But this gallery, gallery will use a technique that is probably something that you haven't uh, seen earlier or haven't used earlier, most probably. So it will add that flavor of newness to this project. So let me start and you'll un understand what I mean. So I'm going to say create new action script 3 file guys and uh, let me get in three pictures which I will be using for this project. So I'm going to say import import to uh, the stage. Let me choose those three pictures. That's one that's two and a three. I'm going to say open and guys all the three pictures uh, come in together and they get tucked in uh, to the left top corner. So what I'm going to say next is I'm going to right click out here and uh, first let me make sure all the three pictures are selected so I'm gonna say control A I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna say distribute to layers okay and layer 1 which now becomes empty automatically I'm gonna call it AS3 okay so pick one PNG is uh, the first picture this host the second picture and this layer host the third picture so all the three pictures have been put on uh, three separate layers and uh, that left the first layer empty which I'll be using to put my action script cool okay guys what I'm gonna do is let me close and hide the second the third layer okay and also I would want the color of the stage to be a pound sign triple three triple three next guys I'll select the first picture it's a bitmap image guys it's a PNG bitmap image the first thing that I would want to do is I would want to put it in the center of the stage through the align panel the align tool cool then I'm gonna press F8 convert it to a movie clip keep the registration point top left and then I'm gonna say OK right then guys what I'll be doing is I'll say right click <coughs> excuse me create motion tween it will automatically insert 24 frames I'm gonna extend it to 50 okay then I'm gonna bring the playhead to the 25th frame alright and then guys I'm gonna come to color effect color effect and then I'm gonna choose alpha okay I'll make sure that the alpha is set to a full 100% out here but on the very first frame <coughs> excuse me I'll make sure that it's only 50 okay so if I scrub the timeline now we start at 50 and on the 25th frame we reach 100 and from the 25th frame till the end guys it remains a complete 100 cool and then guys I'll click left click anywhere between the first and the 50th frame on pick one dot PNG layer anywhere okay and then I'm allowed to give an instance name to the motion tween which is actually an alpha tween strictly speaking and uh, I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it my tween right cool okay next guys what I'm gonna do is I will extend the frames for all the other three layers AS3 layer pick three layer and uh, pick two layer up to the 50th frame by selecting all the three frames together from top to the bottom and I'm gonna press F5 <coughs> rather I'll uh, carry that step uh, a little later let me say control Z let me go back okay and let me lock up the pick one layer let me tackle let me also lock up the pick three layer okay let me tackle the pick two layer first I would need to place it in the center and convert it to a movie clip first so let me select pick two and uh, go to the alliance panel make sure that it's in the center of the stage and then I'm gonna press F8 keeping the registration point top left okay let me lock it up again let me tackle the pick 3.png layer now let me click on the picture let me click on the align panel let me center it up let me press F8 to convert it to a symbol let's say okay 
So all the three pictures guys are now movie clips. Let me unlock and unhide all the layers. Now I'm gonna carry that, that step. I'm gonna, uh, you know, extend the frames up to the 50th frame. So I'm gonna say F5 now. Okay. Very, very cool. And then let me be show that I'm on the AS3 layer. Okay. On the very first frame guys, <coughs> I'll not be saying anything on the very first frame. In fact, let me tell you what I'll, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select the pick tool. Uh, I'm gonna click right on uh, pick two dot PNG where it says pick two dot PNG. That'll extend the entire timeline, entire layer, and then I'm gonna extend it and leave it on the fifty-first frame. Okay, then I'm gonna click on pick3.png, hence selecting the entire layer. I'm gonna extend the layer, I'm gonna leave it at the frame 101st. Okay, so if I were to scrub the timeline, now the pictures don't overlap. Okay, you can have a look out. Now they don't overlap. The first 50 frames belong to pick 1, the next 50 to pick 2, and the last 50 from 100 to 150 to the pick 3 layer. Cool okay let me also extend the AS3 layer up to the 150th layer till here so I'm gonna press F5 once again guys I've extended the AS3 layer up to the frame 150 okay next guys <coughs> I'll make sure I'm on the 51st frame that is where the uh, second picture starts on the AS3 layer guys I'm gonna press F7 to insert a blank keyframe cool then guys see what I'm gonna do I'm gonna right click out here I'm gonna go to the actions panel and then I'm gonna say my tween and guys if you remember my tween is the instance name of the tween now okay dot add target camel casing and then guys the name of this uh, picture for you know it's a dream viewer icon let me just call it DW for Dreamweaver. Cool. And then in the actions panel, I'm gonna say DW for Dreamweaver. Okay. So basically, I'm transferring the tween onto a target called Dreamweaver. Let me test and see what happens. A so control enter. Guys, did you see that uh, the first image has faded in? and so has the second image it may be subtle it's going from a 50 percent to 100 percent but uh, you can i'm sure you can still see that but the third picture which is for uh, the the flash icon has not been affected it will soon be okay i'm going to take the play here and place it on the 101st frame that's where the flash picture starts i'm i'm going to make sure that i'm on the as3 layer i'm going to press f7 i'm going to press f okay then guys i'm going to go in after pressing F7 I'm going to go inside the actions panel and uh, <coughs> I'm gonna say my tween that was the instance name of uh, the tween uh, that we had created the alpha tween dot add target and then out here I'm gonna say FL I'm gonna call it FL FL for flash rather I'm gonna call it flash flash is also a reserved word so I'm gonna call it FL uh, icon FL icon okay flash icon that is I'm gonna make sure that uh, I'm going to give it the same instance name cool now guys if I test it now the tween has been transferred onto the DW instance and FL icon instance as well let's see that so it's fading in very gently guys that's because it's happening from a, a 50 percent to a hundred percent so the change might be very subtle but I'm sure you can still make out so it's affected all the three icons now so it's a great technique I'll tell you why just in case if you decide to change the alpha let's say for the first picture uh, instead of going up from a 50 to a hundred I, I decide later on that no I would want it to go from a 25 to a hundred okay now does this only affect the first uh, icon no it actually affects all the three icons guys because you have affected my tween 
okay guys if you notice the motion tween is actually happening only on the very first icon not on the second one if you scrub the timeline but through this method of transferring the tween giving it a target and giving it an instance name this way we are able to transfer the all the properties of my my tween and uh, you know thrust it upon uh, dw fl icon etc etc so now if i test guys you'll notice that uh, it's not fading in from a 50 to 100 it's actually fading in from a a, a 25 to 100 okay so i did not have to affect the other two icons i just had to affect the first icon and automatically it uh, has picked up the other two icons guys okay uh, also guys let's say for example uh, I wanted to also give it a filter okay so if I were on the 25th frame and let's say I wanted to add uh, how about let's say a blur filter okay let's say the blur on the 25th frame I wanted it to be a hundred uh, sorry a 10 on the first frame let's say I would I, I would want it to be a zero rather I would keep a 10 out here and I would keep it zero on the 25th frame beg your pardon let me keep it zero out here okay so through frames uh, 1 and 25 the blurriness clears up okay so does it affect only the first icon no it doesn't it has affected all the three icons let me test control enter on the keyboard guys all right so the blurriness has been transferred on to the other two icons as well so guys i i hope you liked uh, this technique uh, it's, it may be something new to you and i uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something from it i'll see you very soon with uh, yet another flash and access to three tutorial you have a very good day guys bye bye peace